What's up, what's up guys? This is Buck Wilder and oh yeah, we got a domination match on Summit. Gotta love Summit no matter what game type it is. Um, where should I start guys? You know what? I know exactly where I need to start. Exactly where I need to start. Uh, I want to start by saying uh, Funny Fonzie 2. I, I saw your comment and um, yeah, I do need to put some more Crisis 2 videos up. Let me tell you what happened. I got on, tried to get a match, could not because um, Crisis 2 has some new maps. And um, you might be saying to yourself, guys, well, you guys might be saying to yourself, um, yeah, Buck, didn't you just put a couple videos up showing off some of those new maps? Uh, yeah, I did put some videos up showing off some new maps. And then they came out with some more new maps and a couple new weapons and stuff. But I really just felt like, oh, well, wow, like it's been like, what, a whole week? <laughs> And you're gonna come up with some new stuff, so I, I just I, I'm not gonna get it right now. Uh, a little bit, a little bit tight on the money, and don't want to, uh, you know, purchase some Microsoft points. So I, I hear you on that. I'm gonna try and get you a match. It's just I spend maybe about 30 minutes trying to get a match, uh, and that might not sound like a lot to you guys, but. 30 minutes trying to get a not not trying to get a decent match that I can make a video out of just trying to get a match period because everybody's playing the new maps um, nobody's playing the maps that I guess are now old maps that I had just got a while back and um, seriously um, I'm not I'm not having that. I'm not gonna buy those maps anyways moving on from that uh, I hear you I saw the comment I'm gonna work on some stuff for you and um, I just hopefully I can get a match uh, a lot faster than uh, than was happening this last time. Uh, I want to move on to what did I need to say? Oh yeah, easiness 210. I, I saw your comment also on the channel. I did go check out your stuff. And um, between that, the red intro and the blue intro, I like the red intro a lot better. And uh, yeah, man, stick with it. If uh, posting videos is something that you like to do. Um, Keep keep at it, man. I've been doing this for a while. Um, I thought I would have a lot more subscribers than what I what I do right now, and uh, it's it's all good because I like I like doing this stuff. And uh, don't get me wrong, I want this channel to get big, get huge, get enormous, and uh, I th I think it might. Um, so that that's why I stick with it, and uh, slowly slowly the quality of everything's been, you know getting up there uh the video quality was not so good when i started uh the gameplay's always been what it's been aggressive run and gun that's buck wilder all day uh commentary is a work in progress and um uh, i've said it i said it in this last video that i uh submitted to lgu and um i i just found out today that yes it, it did make the cut just barely <laughs> i got third place and um basically what it's about is uh, LGU, the Legit Gaming Union, is a community channel. They were having a, a challenge, and um, it was basically a Call of Duty Black Ops challenge domination. They wanted some objective gameplay, and um, I decided, you know what? I need to give them some objective gameplay. <laughs> now, I really like the challenge because uh, in that video, and hopefully you guys will go check it out, and as soon as it's up, I will uh, put a video up and uh, leave uh, a link in the description. And uh, I know you guys will go check it out and some support your guy, your boy, Buck Wilder. And uh, let people over there know what's going on on this channel. Let them know how you feel about the style, about the content. Um, anyways, I'll put up a video uh, with a, descript a link in the description at that time. But I, I like the challenge a lot because... Not too many people post objective gameplay. And this one right here, even though it's a fail, a failed attempt at getting a video for that challenge, it's still playing the objective. It's still good gameplay. Um, the numbers, as far as kill death ratio goes, uh, are a lot better on this match. But the challenge was objective, so I didn't even submit this or even think of submitting it because. 
it didn't meet the requirements as far as the captures and defends. And uh, what they wanted was a minimum of a minimum of a total of uh, 10 caps and defends. And uh, this one, I get a total of eight. So it was close. It was close, but uh, no cigar. Not quite. Thank you for trying, but no, sir. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I, I knew uh, you guys would like the uh, shotgun gameplay. And uh, I know that someone did request stakeout gameplay. And I've looked for it forever on my comments. I, I know when I saw it, I was thinking, you know what? Yes, stakeout. It's going to happen because uh, I did try out the Olympia and I thought that was nice. And um, I said, hey, uh, if uh, this shotgun's got four shots, I know I'm going to like it that much more. It's going to be twice as much as the Olympia. And um, I've been looking for the comment just to give you a shout out and say thanks for the suggestion. But um, I, can't, I can't find it and I know I don't delete my comments, so I don't know what is going on. But uh, definitely, if you requested or, you know, suggested stakeout gameplay... Leave it in the comments. Uh, let me know. And um, for giving me such a great idea, I want you to... Well, first of all, just go ahead and leave the comment. Let me know who it was that wanted the stakeout gameplay. Uh, so that I can go find the comment. And then we'll go ahead and set up a video. Uh, basically, just to give you a shout out. And uh, we'll go from there. What I want to talk about before I... Uh, you know, this video comes to an end is... <clears throat> what is... What does... Kill death ratio mean to you? Uh, I know it means it means more to to others uh, and, and not so much to to some of the other guys. I, I want to know who thinks uh, kill death ratio is. I basically want to know how much weight do you guys give that stat because I personally don't think kill death ratio. Um, says much uh, as much about a player as some people think it does um i, I noticed this recently because I, I was partying uh partying up with some people uh from here where from where i'm from and we uh, we lost this one match we we're playing i think it was domination but uh before the match these guys these buddies were uh, checking out the kill death kill death ratios of the people on the other team and they're like oh man uh Damn, we're gonna we're gonna lose to these guys. You know they have like all three and above, or four, some even five. Was their kill death ratio? And I was just like, nah, man. Me and this other guy, you've seen his gameplay on here, and I, I hope to put some more stuff up soon. Uh, his name's Flossie yeah, FTW. Um, this guy's kill death ratio is is higher than mine, and uh, with with his kill death ratio, it does carry some weight. He he is good. Um, I've partied up with him. I've seen him play. He's good. But uh, basically, it was just me and him that were like, nah, we're going to take these guys. And it, it was funny because it turns out it was a clan of, like, like of girls and it was one guy. But either way, before the match started, we were kind of just talking about the kill-death ratio. And the match started and they sucked. <laughs> it was all new tubes, all flak jacket, all, all this and that. It was all smoke and mirrors, basically. And... Uh, I just want to know, what does kill death ratio to mean to you? Does uh, a high kill death ratio mean that someone's good? So, um, let me know what you think. Thanks for taking the time, guys. Peace.